are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. So pardon this reclined posture I'm in right now. I'm actually in the midst of doing the um, September alchemy scopes and I'm quite fatigued so, and I need to record this intro for you. So I thought, well, I might as well just do it right now. So hopefully you'll be okay with me reclining and speaking to you. Uh, listen, there's a lot going on as if you've been following me, you know, you know, it's all, it's all coming. Everybody's talking about it now too. So people are clued in, you're feeling it, you're feeling it, right? And a lot of my clients are, um, diving. So in through the narratives, their wound stories that they hold, that's part of their encoded soul print, their, their narrative here to mature, grow, expand, and uh, move through in this life. But actually you doing it is actually for the collective, right? So when we heal, we heal the whole inherently, instantaneously. That's just how it works. But a lot of people are now diving, so they're facing, they're confronting. They've, they've healed, they've done a lot of healing, and they're now diving into their bigger story. And it's the beginning, you know, it, it really is like, you know, walking on new legs for a lot of us, right? So there's a lot going on. And the reason why I wanted to say that is because, listen, for this month, um, Many of the signs, spreads that came up are talking about further discernment that's going on. So for a lot of people out there, a lot of demographics, because again, we're, we're tuning into the demographics, right, of these different signs, which have different energy sets, different broad uh, storylines that they're evolving, maturing, walking, right? The deal is this, that this month, spread after spread, was revealing that indeed this month of September, and again, we're in, we're in eclipse season. So for those of you who follow any astrology whatsoever, you know that we're in eclipse season now. And September is imbued with the eclipse energy, which is powerful. It's potent. It's change-making. It's, it's new potential being activated, right? Now... Many of the sign spreads this month did in fact come up that were, you know, there's just, there's stuff coming up, but it's different. It's different than in previous months because it's like there's a new layer of the veil being removed. There's new crumbling happening. There's a new level of illusion of our life, of our beliefs around our life that's melting away, that's dissolving, that's cracking, that's breaking. It's being disrupted. And that disruption is creating clarity. That's what it's all for. So anything that is not held in integrity, it's a bit like the tower card in the tarot. But I'm not saying that everybody's going to be living through the tower. In fact, a lot of people are going to be living in a new state of empowerment and uh, self-love and self-respect uh, and self-dignity and resolution to walk your path. So this is not a negative month, but for those of you out there that are maybe just starting your spiritual journey and have not been walking the path for many years, you know, you're going to have some crumbling going on. For those of you that have been walking the path and that are familiar with what's going on and you've been really feeling into the, the uh, transmutation of your soul, of yourself, the frequency shift that's been activated going on for you for years now, this is just going to be another level of your clarity, of your alignment. So there's big alignment this month, everybody. Okay, so breathe, connect with nature, connect with your body, turn off technology, love yourself radically. Um, reach out to me. If you are ready to become clear on your soul print, reach out to me. I will tell you that 
I am very excited because I am going to be launching a course, Learn Your Soul Print course, that's going to be very affordable. I've been really called to make this thing um, very participatory. So people are very key to the uh, to the identification of their own soul print narratives, but I'm going to walk you through it in video, in a video course format, and then there's going to be live sessions available for you. So I'm thrilled. Look, in fact, what I would say to you is if you're interested in this right now, number one, you want to subscribe to the channel. Number two, uh, subscribe to my free e-newsletter on my website as well because I'm going to send out an announcement when it launches there and my website is thealchemyofholism.com okay so let's move on to the reading let's move on to the alchemy scope the multi-point alchemy scope this month and we'll see what's coming up okay talk to you soon everyone this is a powerful month ahead for several reasons one is Let's take a look at the new moon cycle. So as I always do, the alchemy scopes are always working with nature's cycles, and I'm always tapping into the narrative, the symbology, what is the uh, storyline that is imbuing the, the underpinning energies of this month ahead. Now, our new moon in Virgo this month is happening actually on the first day of the month. So September 1st, 2016, at 9 degrees 21 minutes Virgo is our new moon. Now, new moons are always powerful because it's a seeding time. It's a time to plant seeds for what you want to make manifest. This particular new moon is also a solar eclipse. So it's extra potent. It's very powerful. And it will eclipse things out of your life. So as you plant new seeds for yourself, the things that are not serving those new seeds to come will be eclipsed out. So let's take a look at the symbology. Very, very powerful, everybody. At this 9 degree 21 minute point, the Sabian symbol is two heads looking out and beyond the shadows. Now, Dane Rudyard writes this about this particular symbol. He says, the growth of true understanding born out of the transcendence of duality even while immersed in the world of duality and we can feel into that very easily so if you imagine two heads looking out and beyond the shadows this is clarity this is the ability to see its ability to see here and there both so this month, as Mercury goes retrograde, the entirety, essentially, of this month, or the majority of September, here we are met and supported with this symbol. Indeed, this is a month of clarity, of deep clarity, of seeing the spiritual realities despite our context. So even though we're dealing with the minutia of daily life and this physical reality that we're all trudging through, there is a clarity at hand. You're able to see clearly your own life, the patterns deeper under the layers of your own life, and that of the outside world, quote unquote, outside world. Okay, so very powerful month. And again, Mercury is retrograde. So that again speaks to the mind now is going through a process of inner reflection. And indeed, it's about recalibration. So this month, for all of us, this is a storyline about recalibrating our mind's stories. Aries, so as you can see, this month I am using the Buddha board here. This is water on a substrate, painted, coated substrate. And this little board here is called a Buddha board. So you paint with water and the water dissipates, right? And I'm doing what I did a couple of months ago in that I shuffled your cards to inquire what circumstance, event, or situation is likely to be coming forward for Aries-centric people at this time. And I set it aside and then I, before I turn on the camera, I started to tune into the board and the circle came, and then I turned on the camera, and the rest of the visuals came. So I just kind of followed the process. And now, I, as you can see, 
I am pulling out your cards, pulling out your spread, and we're going to see what comes up here, and then we'll analyze both the image and the message. So you can see the goodness card is coming up in the far right sec sector. Underneath that, knowledge. At the bottom is the preparation card. On the side there is grace, difficulty, and adventure. At the top is emergence. And then the central message is insisting, darkness, mission of the soul, and strength. So let's take a look at this. So the central message is about insisting darkness, mission, strength. So there is something here about um, being insistent this month. You're wanting to be insistent about moving through darkness. That's what I see. Because on the far right sector, goodness, knowledge, that's in the spiritual area of life. And this is talking about you're feeling good. You're feeling perhaps a new level of wisdom, Aries, this month. And it's interesting because emotionally, so on the other side, on the left side, you see grace, difficulty, and adventure. That's emotionally. Emotionally, you're going to be feeling grace, peace, humility with regards to past difficulties that you've had, with regards to a journey. It doesn't have to necessarily be a trip or travels or a real adventure, quote unquote, per se, but perhaps the ups and downs of your life to date, maybe over the last few weeks or the last few months or the last few years. There's a level of grace that you're feeling this month, Aries. And again, you're feeling on a deeper spiritual level, goodness, a, a sense of, again, ease, uh, a benefic, um, it's almost like you're, you're perceiving your reality through a benefic lens. And again, knowledge is there. So it's like information is coming to you that is grounding you in your own sense of knowledge, your own sense of wisdom. At the base of the spread, you can see the preparation card there. Preparation is talking about preparing, and because the adventure card comes up, it's like you are preparing for a future journey, a future trip or travel, but certainly new experiences. It's like new life experiences are calling you. And I want to say that because things are starting to emerge in your thoughts, up at the top you see the emergence card. This is in your mental sector. Emergence is talking about ideas, insights are emerging. They're arising in your psyche, in your consciousness, in your mind. There are things arising for you. And because, again, the central message of this month for you, of this chapter of time, Aries, for you, has to do with you insisting. It's almost like... There's been difficulties with past adventures or past challenges or ups and downs with life, but you're insisting anyway. You're going through maybe some of the darkness or you're confronting some of the negativity that you might be facing with regards to some adventure that is calling you. It's like you know it won't necessarily be easy, but you're ready. You're ready. You're insisting, you're ready, you're, you're wanting to move forward. That's why this month you are in a state of preparation. That bottom card there is our 3D reality. And so the preparation card is talking about you being in a state of preparing yourself for a next chapter. Now, if we take a look over at the artwork that came up for you, there's a couple interesting things. One is it started with the circle. The artwork started with the circle, and the circle quickly became half filled in. So that's very much like light and dark, you know, light and shadow. So there is darkness, but there is adventure. There is darkness, but there is light. There's hope. There's optimism. There's forward thinking. There's fun. 
So there are two sides of the hole that you are diving into this month. It's like you're seeing everything, but you're, you, you have a state of grace about it. Again, over at the spread, you have the grace card emotionally that's coming up with regards to any challenges or difficulties that are coming up with an adventure, past or impending. So again, back to the circle. So you have half dark, half light. And then underneath that, there's almost like, um, oh, I don't know, a curved platform. The, I mean, the circle is floating, but underneath that is almost like a curved platform that squiggles down. It has the borderline at the bottom. And then at the top, you can see there's a borderline at the top, which I find fascinating because the line at the top and the line at the bottom are kind of speaking to boundaries. So it is like a distinct chapter. That's what I'm getting. The other thing that's interesting here is that there's those three dots up at the top of the circle. I don't know what that means for you. It could be that there's three people involved in the process of your new adventure. It could be that there's three stages to your uh, it could be that there's three difficulties actually that you're facing. It could be that there's three stages to the process of you pre preparing, going through the preparation phases for the adventure to come. But there's something about three that's going to be significant for you over the course of this month. And it's kind of surrounding. In fact, you can see that the top dot is above the point where the circle goes from light to dark. And then one dot is over at the dark side and one dot is over at the light side. So it's almost like you're, uh, there's three aspects of this project, this impending adventure that you're anticipating, that you're preparing for, that you're thinking about, that you're contemplating. And you are balancing in the goodness, the knowledge that's coming your way and the wisdom that you're feeling around it is, um, again, through a lens of the beneficial nature of whatever's coming, even though there might be some negativity around it or some things to get through or some obstacles to figure out your way around them. You know, there's something, it's not going to come super easily. In other words, there, there are some aspects that you need to become innovative perhaps around. And by the way, that's the other thing about three, three dots also could mean uh, creativity because three does represent creation. So it could mean that you have to come up with some creative, innovative techniques to move around any obstacles that are going to come up for you this month with regards to this adventure and your preparation for it. Beautiful Aries. Okay, the last components for you here are looking at the I Ching that came up for you. So when we look at the spread, and the artwork that I created or channeled for you, what that's speaking to is a specific kind of event, circumstance, or situation that's coming forward for your growth and evolution. When I pull the I Ching, I'm pulling up kind of the general micro cycle for Aries folks, for the Aries demographic. So what is the narrative that is very specific underscoring the unfolding month for Aries. You received two hexagrams. So one hexagram with changing lines, which we became another. You received number 42 increase and number five patience. So this is interesting because as you saw in your spread and with the light dark circle in your in the channeled artwork, there's a little bit of let's say, quote unquote, good and bad, positive and negative, light and dark. And indeed, here you have 42 increase, which has to do with the potentiality of money, abundance. Certainly, it's about success. It's about flow. And it's connected to number five, patience, which has to do with needing to wait to you can put your you can cast your line out, you know, for the fish, but you have to wait you know there so there's there's an area here of almost a maturation for Aries going on that you have both the potential and certain activations for success that's uh, flowing out this month 
and you have the need to develop patience because there are some obstacles. There still are some things that are at hand. And it could be specifically talking, Aries, to the fact that you don't have the money yet. Like, for example, in the spread that we just looked at, there's some obstacles or difficulties. It could be that for some of you that has to do with financial limits. And if that's the case, then the I Ching theme that's showing up here is speaking directly to that. Because this is talking about having having to have patience with regards to your dreams or the preparation for the adventure because maybe it is about increase slash money slash income slash success that's going to allow you to move forward so uh indeed prepare plan do the little things you know take care of the details move forward Use the time of quote unquote waiting to um, be powerful. And that's where your Dakini comes in. Who are you to become this month to ride this wave optimally? Number 10, the owl. This is from Penny Slinger 64 Dakini Oracle, as I always pull every month. And the owl is the wise one. Now keep in mind, your spread was speaking to that. It was speaking to your... Um, your inner spiritual knowledge, which is your wisdom. Indeed, you are to become owl this month. The owl Dakini is about your inner wisdom, your inner well of knowing, you as goddess, you as God, um, and really tapping into your inner resource. Now, keep in mind, owls are nocturnal. Owls are quiet. Owls are also patient. So there is a maturity, a wisdom, an internal uh, functionality to you during this month. Go within, meditate, access your spiritual power this month because this patience that you're needing to have with regards to your impending adventure or the increase, success slash money that wants to come, let that let that be what it is because that's what it is so you don't have to fight against what is develop your inner wisdom during this time frame that's the guidance and it's really powerful have a beautiful month aries hey everyone so before i sign off for this month i wanted to alert all of you that haven't seen my previous advertisement video that I have uh, some offerings on the table, some tools to help clarify what's happening for you, for your soul journey over the course of this very dynamic period. So for the fall 2016, there's an offering of, of uh, for me to provide you a video uh, tapping into your particular soul journey and what's unfolding for you. And there's also, I'm putting on the on the table now it way in advance of 2017 but for those interested in tapping into their 2017 cycle um, that is also on the table now and I will tell you that I, what I didn't put in the other video is right now it's at a discounted rate because it's before 2017 but once 2017 hits or even maybe even at the end of December I don't know when I'll do it but the price will go up but you have many months but I will say for anybody now who's interested, that's on offer. And then for anybody interested in tapping into both 2016 fall and the 2017 year for them, for what's unfolding, for you know what is the narrative and what's the growth edge? What is it that's pulling you into a new state of being over the course of this time frame in human history? Uh, both there's a there's a special deal for both of those okay so again these are videos from me personalized videos from me for you to help clarify what's going on in your storyline so if you're interested in that the link will be somehow here on the video and the link will always be in the description below this video as well okay so everybody I'm wishing you a very empowering self-loving self-aligning month of September 2016. I'll see you soon. Bye.